So welcome officially to Colossal Labs. This is the most advanced genetics lab, you know, arguably in the world, and you know, we definitely spare no expense in the process. <laughs> This is the real Jurassic Park, isn't it? I think it's Jurassic Park with a conservation focus. You don't see that every day. Or ever. What is it like, you know, to be the steward uh, of like this next chapter of something that means so much to so many people? Jurassic Park inspired so many scientists in this building, in this lab, you know, saw that movie growing up and thought science is cool, genetics is cool. Your film's about dinosaurs, right? Right. Is that a possibility? Is there a path towards it? You can't get dino DNA. Amber, believe it or not, it's very porous. It doesn't hold DNA. But if you took advanced genetic engineering, advanced computational models, you had an avian genomics group do trait engineering, you created synthetic eggs. I think you'll have dinosaur equivalents in the next 100 years using these tools, just a more advanced version of these tools. You're a very impressive nerd, Henry. <laughs> If you could bring back any dinosaur, what would you bring back? The one that's going to get all the tourists is going to be the T-Rex. Yeah. It's also going to go very wrong. <laughs> Might well escape. <laughs> It'll work out in the end. It would make a really cool movie. Yeah. Over some time period, whether that's five years or 20 years, we at Colossal will be able to engineer nearly anything. Like I think the genetic engineering, computational analysis, and the access to compute and, and more and more compute will give us the ability to truly create new forms of life. That, but that doesn't mean we should. Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Our goal is to create de-extinction, to build technologies that can help uh, human healthcare. If we get this DNA, millions of lives are saved as well as subsidize all those technologies for conservation. If we can build a company that builds technologies to advance species preservation, then I think we have done our job. And I do advise you to start building some 10,000 volt fences just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah.